something big is about to go down. everybody how are y'all doing before we get started we have some big 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 nintendo switch news to talk about in one epic video we got a couple of dope nintendo switch news items but the first one pretty pretty interesting before we get started give the video a huge thumbs up are we at 150 likes right now check that like count let's get it to 150 likes let's get started wow it looks like we're going to be getting a big, a big Platinum Games announcement tomorrow. Now, this comes courtesy of their official Platinum Games Inc. Twitter account. And this is what they said. Platinum Games has something special up our sleeve. Keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow. So tomorrow, it's going down now, who knows what they're going to be revealing. They are um, third-person action-adventure game masters. Bayonetta 3. They do the Devil May Cry. I think Devil May Cry. A couple other games. I think Metal Gear or Vengeance. And so, who knows what they could, they could announce. But, one thing I like about Platinum Games is... They are big supporters of Nintendo consoles, so this announcement could very likely be Nintendo Switch related, a multi-platform, multi-plat game. Now, one caveat that has me a little nervous, but they made this announcement before the date. April 1st is April Fool, tomorrow's April Fool's Day, so they could be trolling us, but I don't think that's the case because they made the pre-announcement because they knew tomorrow's April 1st. They made the pre-announcement on March 31st to let us know that this is serious. This is for real. And then April 1st. April 1st is a bad day to have a major announcement. So, but we've had major announcements in the past on April 1st that were legit. So, Platinum Games just tweeted out they have a big announcement for tomorrow. All right. Now, where's my DJ Khaled? Because we have another one. You think we're just going to hit y'all with one news item? We got another one. The next news item, pretty, pretty, pretty dope. Splatoon, spat, tat, tat, tat. Rat, tat, tat, tat. Splatoon 3. Splatoon 3 has just received a major update. Updated to version 3.1.0. And this isn't just stability behind the scenes improvements. These are some big gameplay improvements. Um, how tricolor battles will be affected. Um, weapons. The big thing is weapon modifications. Increased splat area for certain weapons. Uh, increased, decreased damage. They nerfed, nerfed and buffed uh, certain weapons. And so a big, big, big update has taken place for Splatoon 3 and you can go to uh, Nintendo's Japan is where Nintendo's Japan Twitter account and there's a link right under it where you could translate the tweet so you can see all the breakdowns and how uh, the game has been modified. Splatoon 3 is a dope game. I haven't been playing it like I should but fantastic third person uh, shooter. Splatoon 3 just received a major 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 update but we're not done bro we hitting y'all with another one dj and this next news item also pretty pretty big for nintendo nintendo has regained um the top sales chart hardware sales chart in japan for the past week and so nintendo's like oh uh, uh, uh. this is I want y'all to know how crazy this is. We are talking about Nintendo's next-gen console about to launch. And it's still the number one selling console in Japan. 
You see? The weeks where we say, oh, PS5 is now winning in Japan. It should be. It's the newer console. The Switch is a six-year-old console, and it's, and it's still topping the charts. That in itself is amazing. But last week, the Nintendo Switch has topped the um, um, hardware sales charts in Japan. The Switch OLED model came in at 36,000. PlayStation 5 came in at 34,000. The base model Switch, another 10,000. Switch Lite, 7,000. And PS5, the digital edition, came in at 4,800. So the Switch is still on, 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 letting y'all know, hey, that Switch 2 about to drop. But we still going to be selling consoles, bro. So this is what Nintendo needs to do with the Switch 2. They need to launch the Switch 2 while the Switch is still selling relatively well. Do not wait like they did with the Wii. The Wii pretty much was dead when the Wii U came out. Nintendo waited too long. I think this holiday is perfect, perfect timing for a Switch 2 launch booyah we put the switch to in the video so i could put it in the title <laughs> all right the next news item be like i, I be my click wait click wait chill out bro all right the next news item dj kelly where you at boy another one all right I found this to be pretty interesting, and I'm just super hyped for the Mario movie. Mario movie comes out in about one week. I already got tickets reserved. Me and kids were going out to go watch it, and the actor that plays Mario, Chris Pratt, he's gone on record to say that he has spent maybe 1,000 hours of his childhood playing Mario. That's pretty. I think that's cool, knowing that. As someone who actually plays Mario games is playing the character so he could embrace the essence of Mario a, a little better. And speaking of the Mario movie, it's been revealed that Charles Martinet, the original voice actor for Mario, woohoo, it's a me, Mario, that dude, it looks like he will be in the Mario movie as well in cameo roles. This is what I'm thinking for the main. Um, acting like interaction with Princess Peach or whatnot, it's gonna be Chris Pratt. But for when like Mario's riding in Mario Kart and like he or when he's running and he jumps, he says "Wahoo!" That could be the original voice actor. I think that would be dope, dope, dope to cater to the fans. That would be pretty, 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 pretty epic. All right, we have another one, one more news item, and this one is a little bit more on a sad note. This does mean something to me because I used to play this game on my Sega Genesis. The creator of for Bubsy, Mike Berlin, he has passed away at the age of 73. And Bubsy on the Sega Genesis Super Nintendo was real good. I mean, it was a dope, dope, dope platforming game. I remember block, going to Blockbuster Video and my dad renting this game and we played it on our Sega Genesis. Um, now when Bubsy switched over to 3D, one of the worst games ever made. <laughs> like the 3D Bubsy games were, were was horrible. But on the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Bubsy was that fire, bro. Um, and so RIP to Mike Berlin, prayers to his family. Um, Bubsy creator, he's not, he's not with us anymore. All right. Those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out. Peace. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this. But hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. And if you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that.
But um, anyways, my boy Obi Wan, your boy Obi Wan. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Get that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got you, Jedi homie. Master the right Jedi Obi Master. <laughs> I got you, man. You're playing two out. I got Obi -Wan, you, man. homie. I'm dedicating a workout set. To you, my boy. Let's go, man. <laughs> 25, 26, 27, 28. Ah! 